Alrighty then, welcome to the Love Them Knives channel, and we are back on the air like a bad dog. And we have the Wee Vapor with us today. Yes, we do. The Vaporizer. Well, actually, it's the Vapor, but I always have to rename everything. And you know what? It's just, I'm, I'm just getting really tired of them billboarding the blade up so much oh my Can, did you see this look at wow that just ruins the whole knife for me the s35vn they put there i can't even read it from here <laughs> okay we're just we're being what what they used to call facetious yes it is uh when we are saying one thing and just kind of being sarcastic about it so we got a front choil big front choil a lot of stone washing on this blade you know what carbon fiber inlay on the front and put in your bets are they going to do that on the back come on bets are now sh shut down and yes they did it on the back wow why would they do that I don't know, make it more balanced to ha to make LTK happy about this fact that some of these knives don't do that? You mean like a $400 knife? Whoops, <laughs> you know, whoops. Did we miss something? Something fell out on this side? Looks like they milled in for a place. The K3, nope. Does it cost more money? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, but this is, this is only half the knife of the K3. I mean, check the size. Yes, these are small knives. These are like 2.95 inch blade. Nice, easy, everyday city carry. Hint, hint. Now that's Ray, my buddy up in New York. Everyday city carry. I think of him every time I come up with a knife about this size. It's like, you know, he would be just... Yeah, moving it and grooving it with a knife like this. Uh, this is just his style because he's styling and profiling up there. Yeah, smaller knife. Look at the K3. Um, and this is not exactly a nine inch knife or anything, but this is pretty good sized. Okay, so yeah. And of course, everyone has one of these, right? No. Oh, what? I like to do that. It's like uh, I saw. I saw Oh, Epic Snuggle Bunny. I watch his reviews. I mean, yeah. Hey, who doesn't? But, I mean, he pulls out size comparison knives like, well, uh, let's see. Uh, everybody's got one of these. Uh, how about a Southern Tulk? It's not like a, like a, you know, like a, a paramilitary two or anything. He pulls out like, you know, something like this and then something like, <laughs> something. Yeah, this would be calm for him, right? In some kind of obscure, like mid tech or custom. Like here you go. Here's the, here's the Hummer from. Uh, are we are we hallucinating? And here's the Hummer from uh, Andre de Villiers. So there you go. And this is a big. Now this is a big knife. Nine and a half inches, four and a quarter inch blade. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we rocking that one. Oh, do you love that back? Do you like that teal? In any case, so we'll be talking about that one. Um, yeah. It's a little wisp of a thing, isn't it? And you've got like a like a coated or DLC'd something. Because uh, I'm, I'm sure that's titanium clip. At first, I thought that thing was carbon fiber. And I, it, it's not saying that it is. And you know what? It don't feel like it either. So it's got to be titanium. And this backspacer... You know, I'm not sure about that. It feels G10. Um, and you know what? Here's the paperwork from Blade HQ. So you tell me it's 244, about 245 bucks. Blue tie with carbon fiber. Maybe that is a carbon fiber backspacer and it might be. Because uh, that would make sense. Carbon fiber inlay. And they really don't get specific about the accoutrements here necessarily 6.8 so it's under seven inches overall hollow grindstone wash plane 
Handle length is under four inches. Um, and I'll bet it's pretty light. Let's see if they say anything more about the uh, backspacer on here. Ceramic, uh, you know, bearings and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, of course. S35VN on this. Carbon fiber, there you go. There you go. Just do your do your homework before you turn the camera on, dude. But you know what? It's been a day, and I slept since then. And we're not doing a review on the Southern Talk. Okay. Yeah, baby. We got this one back in the picture, and yeah, it's carbon fiber. Good-looking knife, though. And, you know, the blue hardware doesn't really pop against the blue anno. Uh, Mm, it would have been nice if they'd have done a different color, like maybe gold or something else to kind of give it some. But, hey, this will work, I guess. It's got a lanyard hole, little knife, very light knife. Front choil, like I said, you can go forward on this one. Look at the Look at the blade design here. Okay, good for piercing, good for slicing. And speaking of that, if we have a piece of paper somewhere around here... S35VN, this one, yeah, it's pretty sharp out of the box. So, got that one took care of. Get out of here. Interesting, though, they go on this escapade. But when I when I took this one out of the box and it comes in these zipper pouches, I don't know if we need to go through this exercise with every wee knife. But, you know, here it is. It comes in this. You got a microfiber cloth in this. And if you will notice... Um, you know, looking at the hardware here, these are not the proprietary hardware pieces that they had on Wii Knives of yore. This is going back to just the normal Torx, uh, so they don't give you a, you know, a specialty tool because you don't need one. But look at the blade. Look at the cutout here. See how this trails in here? Okay, just... <laughs> oh, I'm going to mess with you now. Okay, so... And so, the Vapor is the new... Rectifier? Oh, no. The Vapor is the new... Ignition? <laughs> I just... I go, I've seen this blade somewhere before. Where have I seen this blade? Yeah, of course, this is VG10 on the ignition, right? Because it's a less expensive knife and all that kind of stuff. But then, now, it's a different shape on the rectifier. But look at that. I mean, crazy, huh? But the rectifier, even though it is a G10 scales, it's titanium frame, it's also a 2.95 inch blade. But, you know, it's a different grind. It's, you know all different but it's s35bn as well but i just i looked at that and i'm going whoa i've seen that before and it just boggled me until i i clicked i had to i had to just like where what knife was this on i know it was on another wee knife okay so small knife as you see compared to a paramilitary two you know Instead of some obscure custom knife that, hell, I wouldn't know. I know you guys keep up on everything. But I don't. I don't. I'm just a man of, of you know, common means. So I'm not big into the mid-tech world. I'm not big into the custom knife world. Just don't do that. So, and for you out there that might know what a paramilitary 2 Spyderco is, there you go. There's your size comparison. And this is an eight and a quarter overall, three and a half inch. This is 2.95 inch blade and pivot to pivot. Okay. Flip them around. Okay. This is even going to look smaller in comparison to the Para 2, isn't it? But you know what? I can't. Well, let's get this out here. I can't help but really like this knife. Damn, it's a good looking knife. I like the fact that they did this backspacer all the way along here. You know, that keeps things, and it's centered, by the way. No lock rock, no blade play. Really, look at how the smooth machining and stuff. I like the way it, it protects the blade. 
the backspacer does. You know, I used to at first like the open designs, open, open, open. No, not no. No, I like at least some semblance of a backspacer on a knife. And it doesn't have to be that much. It can be here, but it just kind of completes it. It gives it something in there, but uh, oh, wow. It's snappy, snappy action on this. We'll talk about that here when we go to the way off. So 2.6 ounces, 74 grams. So that is really light, really light. Feels light in the hand. Snap. Now, it's not going to have a hydraulic. There's not enough mass in this blade to hydraulic anything. Snap. Detent's really good. No play in the detent. There's your crossover for going, you know, right or left hand tip up carry on this knife. So, you not only get a lanyard hole, you get right or left hand tip up carry. And the thing is, I mean, you've got carbon fiber. I've seen people like, oh, well, they couldn't put carbon fiber on there because it, it'd end up, you know, being, you know, rested on by the, the, the pocket clip or whatever. So, so, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Um, so, and, or, well, see, you got the lock bar running through. You can do that. See, you can go over that like that. You can do that. Um, and it kind of also acts as an over-travel stop, as you can see there. Uh, but it has its own over-travel stop, and it has its own, you know, lock bar insert, which I did not take this one apart, but you can see there's a hardened steel insert in there with a ceramic detent ball, ceramic bearings on the pivot. Really nice. Like the color. They come in different colors. Yes, they do, and I... Let me see. I did print this thing off. I was going to actually show you before I started throwing papers all over the hell. Um, but you can you can kind of get them in, you know, all black blade, uh, you know, regular titanium, just some different iterations. There's the Wisp. That's another cool knife, but at least they didn't use the same blade on that one. They come up with a whole different blade. Yeah, 245 bucks. Is that expensive maybe considering the fact that it's a small knife and it doesn't have M390? I mean, that's a question I'm posing to you. For me, for me, I would say, I mean, like I think about the Booze Aero Mini and that was S35VN and that was uh, that was 199, right? And we made that one. So I yeah, I I think I think this is okay. And I'm not a steel snob anyhow. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean, I think it'd have been better if it was like 199. Um oh well. CTS 204P, you know, CTS XHP, M390, you know, could think of some that maybe, but as 35VN, you know, we're getting too spoiled. We're getting too used to super steels. So now nah, it's, it's good. I, I like it. It's a good looking knife. You see how the carbon fiber is. Hold on. I'm going to give you a little gauge here on the, on the, yeah, a little over three millimeter uh, blade stock, which is 0.123, like an eighth inch, basically. I don't know if I can, can I get to the widest part of the outsides of these? Not easy. 0.53, um, 13.5. I'm not sure I got to the widest part. Yeah, 13.8, 0.54. So really it's fatter. Then, uh, well, then the para two, come here, fancy. I'll put your blade away here. 0 0.46, 0 0.54. So actually, this little knife is fatter in the hand. And the ergos, pretty good. I mean, at least with this front choil, you can go forward. So you can just grab it like that. You can barely see it in your hand. 
but it's really showy, a good looking piece. But the er yeah, the ergos are good on this. Reverse grip. Well, if we could fit it on there, uh, you could kind of go almost like this, really. Um, yeah. The detent is pretty good. Maybe a five and a half. You know, I can't throw it out, but there's just no mass to the blade. So will this gravity flip? No, this will not gravity flip. Um, I think I, I would I would venture to say I don't know of anyone that could gravity flip this. I mean, there's a lot of them I can't, but somebody could. Like they pitch for the Giants or something. But, you know, uh, San Francisco team, right? Uh, but, you know, they... Yeah, I, now, I can't gravity flip it out, but it's not that it's that stiff a detent. And, you know, I don't know if you can... Uh, wow, that's, that, the problem is the detent, if it was a little less stiff, it'd be, you could finger flick it. And you saw me, I got it off of that detent. Wow. Wow, that's hard. Well, I'm pushing on the stupid. Well, no, I'm not. Eh, I'll leave it alone. Yeah, I think you could probably finger flick it, maybe, depending on how fat your fingers are. But it's just too much hassle to try and mess with, really. It's just kind of a small opening really close to that. And it's 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 a small knife. It's not really convenient to do like that. But in any case, it's possible, I'm sure. Cool little knife. Like I said, and sorry I didn't, but we, I mean, I gave you the length, but uh, I'll, I'll, we'll do it confirming. You know, three inch blade basically, and uh, six and three quarter overall. So, you know, 17 centimeters and 75 millimeter blade, somewhere in there. Very light, very cool. Yeah, I do like, I, I like this knife. I, I, it's not that I don't like small knives. I do like small knives. And you know, if I'm going to carry a small lightweight knife, it's sure nice to have something like this. Really dressy and this and that. In case there's, a, you know, though an occasion where you want something small, but you're, you really figure you're going to, you're in a more casual environment or you're really going to use it, really put it to it, then maybe you want something like the ignition. You know, something with G10 and stuff. Less expensive too. So, but this one, it's fancy. Well, it's not you fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> Flanagan, are you going to leave me out in the cold here? All right, let's say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. The Vapor. New from Wee Knives, or at least fairly new from Wee Knives. Now it's out there, different iterations, different colors and stuff. Very small, lightweight. Good looking knife, though. I really like it. You know what we do around here. And make sure that if you want to buy one, get it from White Mountain Knives. Because with the LTK discount code, it's 10% off. That's 24 bucks, right? So, and the reason we do it for less money is because we love them knives. So stay sharp.